Welcome back to the abomination of mankind. So, hmm, maybe oh. not up to that rank. We've, we've, what we've now? played worse. It's still pretty bad, though. So what now, Pedro? Right now, we're going to do this. Yes. Sudden, time, uh, sudden mission that comes out of nowhere, I think. Is it? I think it's, wasn't it's, it? Nah, just clear the robots out. Well, yeah. It's the same as oh, oh, never no, mind, no, no, never mind. mind. It, it is, cu it is cutscene. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to a point where I expect things to be like in some uh, campaign. Hi, Rouge. <laughs> it seems like Eggman's machine. Now, you want to call this an abomination? Let's call it an abomination of Moby and kind. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of crap game. <laughs> and no, and no audience. Before you forget, no, I do not endorse the stupid thing of calling them Mobians in the games universe. They're Mobians in the comics, not the games. Yeah, we're on Earth, Chofa. That's a whole yeah. kind of. Worms that we don't want to discuss about now. Anyway, you keep track of Mephilus. I need to be alone because I need to brood. <laughs> hmm. oh, and this is no. the game. Uh, the game's attempt at uh, like my problem with. Oh, well, that's it well, you it got over it in battle. Not just that, or like, like you, oh, were, you were already over it in battle. That's the thing. R R Rouge, Rouge, stop talking to your hand, please. <laughs> Before you worry, Shiroi, it's not so much in brooding. He's literally just going after Eggman to get information. Ah, uh, Rouge, who are you talking to? I'm talking to my good friend, Rist. Oh. Um, <laughs> can you so... can you introduce me to his friend, Foot? So these cutscenes are only for Shadow to just deposit Omega back with Rouge and just. Uh, no, but I can I can introduce you to his cousin Ankle. A reminder, what about his brother for the, Chin. Uh, reminder for the Sonic campaign: <laughs> Knuckles just popped in and out uh, out of nowhere, uh, both yeah. in cutscenes and in gameplay, like they wanted. So uh, what's the need of these cutscenes? Uh, Jova, I didn't. Jova, I didn't. I didn't know he was his brother. I thought he was just some relative. Yeah. That's actually the thing about Shadow Story. It's the only story that actually, for each time there's a different battle party members with you, actually does explain what, why what, they're with what, you what, or what, why they're not with you. What, what is a game? No stupid uh, mini thing where I'm supposed to sneak around to get to Radical Train? I'm surprised. Yeah. Again, Silver and Sonic's campaigns Sh do that for some reason. Yeah, that's the thing with Shadow's campaign. His campaign has the least padding out of it. And again, like I said, it's the only campaign that that has a cutscene for every time there's a party change. Like, in the other two, there are several times when you'll enter a scene without your party members to aid you whatsoever. With no explanation. Here, though, we get an explanation each time. Even if it's not so... exactly all that great. Anyway... So basically, in Sonic's version of this, you had to actually get the gate down so that the train could go through without getting harmed. Here, in this one, however... In this one, However, you do have to actually destroy the train thanks to your <laughs> awesome martial arts. There you go. Now I want to, now I want to remind Fuck you guys. <laughs> at, at the time of this, Sonic is after Elise's train. Eggman is on a train that is behind Elise's. So when you get down to it, if Sonic and Shadow weren't here to do their thing, as far as Eggman knew, remember Elise's train was crashing. So. Eggman would have ended up killing himself because essentially the two the two trains would have been on collision. The greatest uh, mind uh, of her, of the planet. Like you know, maybe this were like you know at a way different time frame in the story, but no, this is literally happening alongside Sonic's radical train event. Wise, it's so stupid. Like seriously, in Sonic Adventure, they manage the story's the chronologies just fine. Why is it a problem to manage free chronologies when hey, they can handle six guess what? just fine? Well, I don't care. <laughs> but Pedro, you care so much about getting an S rank. True. However, for this particular level, I'm so... The thing about this level is uh, with Shadow is that... Uh, not First of all, most of it is actually just reusing the same level design from Sonic's campaign. Uh, Fair offense, Raph Logic. Just reverse the dungeon. It's, it's, it's totally different. Uh, I mean, to be fair, Michael, I mean, it's not a bad idea to change this into you have to actually destroy the train as opposed to saving or keeping the train from crashing and into anything. Although I have to wonder, though, if Eggman's great train can take this so much, why couldn't Elise's, essentially? Because plot consistency is for losers. Suppose. Alright, basically, that, uh... just kill all the enemies to open the thing. In What's case you're wondering, 
that's an energy core basically to fill up Shadow's meter when he can turn. But you see, Tim, it's the right remember, Tim, it's the energy cores that come out of enemies that the Rimlight Corporation oh, wants. Oh, I forgot. Come on, Tim, pay on. attention to the to, to the story. Come on. The Rimlight so... Corporation is so important. It's so nice to know the lore behind the collectibles in this game. It looks <laughs> All right, oh, the bike so fucking sucks, you... so we're not gonna use it. <laughs> really? <laughs> we. There's a there's a bike later on when we actually do need it. So don't yes. bother don't, don't bother getting this first bike because the bike so is fucking was, terrible. So this was the section where Sonic was in max speed. Yes. There you go. Now get this one. Oh god! Uh, no. Oh, no. Jesus okay, guys. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. Whenever you land with Shadow, there you'll freeze for a few seconds. No, actually, it's only if you fall again, Jova. It's because of that stupid battle we already discussed, where if a character is in a specific uh, piece of terrain uh, that is in between other two pieces of terrain, that happens. Which is, I, I just got oh, unlucky. Pedro, 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 I just got, I, I, I just got unlucky. Pedro, Pedro, I wasn't talking about the camera tilting. I talk about how you could not move there. Oh, that, yeah. There's that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that happens every time you dash. Basically, shadow. what you're supposed to do is supposed to chase the uh, the train and shoot it down. Um, and when you sh and uh, be it. before it runs away, and that's it. Here's the thing: that that I'm putting anyone in danger yeah. of uh, anything at all. Yeah, Pedro's hey, been used to that. Since you were so saying it a lot better. And yeah, ah. S rank. <laughs> yes, what did Lib say? Basically, but you're not the one worried that I wasn't going to get it an S rank, and I got it over two thousand points over the mark. Go ahead, Jova. The motorcycle can actually run out of health if you bump the wrong way with it, and it will explode. Thankfully, it didn't happen with Pedro. Because. The sad thing, Dwebs, is that for as much as I hate this game, I'm really good at it. <laughs> oh, to be fair, seen. so are a lot of people. <laughs> That's the same thing with the Lightning Trilogy. For as much as I hate those games, I'm actually really good at them. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Yeah, that, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. Yeah. Uh, again, you know, looks aside, Eggman is definitely one of the better characters in this game, due in no small part to Mike Pollock. He does have his stupid moments, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some of which I've covered in... Yeah, in fact, I just covered one earlier. It's He's just... still the best thing about this, though. I still cannot stand his design, though. I mean, I wouldn't have minded it so much if, like, they changed hit what he was wearing. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what kills it for me. Those brass fastenings do not, not help. Mention, <laughs> not, not to mention, this was, it, was, it was really weird to just have a new Eggman design. So Sonic Riders came out earlier the same year, and that used the Sonic Adventure design for Eggman. And now all of a sudden they change him. And then... And, uh, and it was funny. Bomberman did the same thing. They had a Bomberman game on the PSP. That Again, supposedly the Bomberman design, and then at zero, and at zero came out when they had the gritty one. Again, dwebs. Sega of Japan had this stupid mentality that there was something that needed to be fixed about Eggman's design because they thought that America made him too much of a joke. And you don't worry, though. We, one... we have a beautiful Fuck scene yeah. coming up very yes. soon. Yes. <laughs> we do indeed. One that hopefully Pedro does not skip the second time we see it, because, uh, <laughs> Jova, it's really Jova, Jova, that scene, that scene is separate from this one. Technically, we're still watching the same cutscene from the Sonic story. Yeah, no, 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 no. It cuts, no, no, to, no, it cuts no. to black, and then it loads that scene. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, all I'm saying is that, though, I hope your reflexes don't betray you. Don't worry, Jova. Oh, be the first time we're seeing this scene. Even if it, they did, Jova, uh, edit it, uh, the theater mode exists, and editing exists. So. Shadow the Hedgehog. So your complaints are null and void. Um, there you go. So you skip oh, that way. right. He's not. Oh, not, 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 yeah. not, not, not to mention we have to beat Silver first anyway. So. Yay. All right. The, the Silver boss battle of Shadow is basically the same thing. Just wait for him to say, "How about this?" and just uh, hit him. That's basically it. The only real difference is that you have a, a far wider playing field. But aside from that, it's pretty much the exact same boss battle. It is, however, harder to get an S rank for it, because uh, to get an S rank in Sonic's battle, all you really have to do is be quick about it and also get as many ranks as you can. In here, it can be a bit hard because uh, Silver only does the how about this thing if he's near barrels. 
Um, and since so you're uh, luring him essentially. Yeah, which uh, you have to try and lure him into barrel. So getting the S rank on this one is uh, harder than. Uh, however, it looks like he's gonna take forever to get to a barrel. Yeah. However, however, with a few tries uh, and make sure you hold on to the rings that you're catching. Uh, 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 gotta uh, so you can get some extra help from ring bonus, uh, and basically you can try to kill him as fast as you can. Basically, almost didn't hear no. that. One. I recommend I using that. the that uh, slide kick that I just used because it's the best way to hit him and at the same time run away from him after that. I love how his lines uh, keeps interrupting each other. Does he have more health in this one? No, it's the same. The bosses always have the exact same amount of health. What changes, Shiro, is that some bosses can vary in how much HP you can take from them in one hit. Yeah, that, 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 depends on the boss. Yeah, that depends on the boss battle. That technically is a varying amount of hits. In fact, I think, oh, uh, yeah, wow. Egg Wyvern definitely takes more hits than Egg Cerberus. For example, remember, the Egg Cerberus can be, you can damage him the half of his HP if you throw right, him into right, the statues. Alright, alright, we're about to get to so. the last cutscene in the game. Yes, yes. 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 Alright. Let's, let's just enjoy this. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. So Silver has been quite a hard head up There's to this There's a bit point. of a sexual tension here. <laughs> Chaos control. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, mm, the, be the best yes. use of Chaos control ever in the Sonic series. Thank you, Shadow. Thank you. <laughs> Part of the reason why Shadow is definitely the highlight of this game. Here's the problem. This scene becomes incredibly stupid just a second after. Yeah. I know. You can't break free. But I'm just going to enjoy that anyway. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot give up. I can't. I cannot. I cannot stand. That's a Japanese line if ever I've heard one before. I know. I know, right? I cannot stand the 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 goody the blue chaos emerald. I can't. Silver's Silver's acting is atrocious. I agree. I was about to say that as well. I cannot stand the actor's delivery. Like not just that. There you go. This is enough. For both of them to stop the animosity and just become friends. Not even kidding. Basically, yeah. Uh, Why? Oh, I love this bit because up. Mephilus isn't trying to help you create a better future. Hey, you know, Silver um, believes him instantly. Yeah, and he believes him instantly, but well, maybe not instantly, but he does. He doesn't even ponder the fact that maybe he's trying to deceive you. Like, so you, but then again, Teo, uh, I know, I, fair, I, I know, I'm getting ahead of myself, but he also immediately believed Mephila, So I guess Silver is just that gullible. Maybe Silver just has a thing for hedgehogs that look like Shadow, to, since Mephiles just show up in the Johnny, guise of Shadow. To quote Johnny's comments on his LP during the Silver playthrough, there's being gullible and there's just being fucking stupid, and this is just uh, stupid. You know, oh I was gonna boy. say something Speaking similar of stupid. To... Okay, we have a new Fresh Patch. And by the way, this is yet another one of those strange FMV scenes where they couldn't finish them, so they have to use the in-game models uh, in it. So, oh, so, it's a, so it's a combination okay. of CGI and in-game models touched so, up. Yeah, cu couple of things. First of all, the kingdom of Soriana is not held by a king, but by a duke. Not Why? just that. Not just and that. Yet somehow Soliana also managed to capture their own god, and well, apparently they Two generated their own god. Some kind. Yes. Let's let's try. Not just that tale. Let's try. Let's try to domesticate a a a, a god, because that always turns out well in works of fiction, right? Especially oh. in Sony games, like Roger Van Dyne said, like it wasn't enough with the Echidna tribe. Yeah, like because as we all know, because as we all know, in the history of fiction, whenever a scientist tries to harness the power of a god or a mythical creature, uh, everything always turns out fine and dandy. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Anime and these uh, splits the Solaris into two things. Okay. Now here's the deal. Shadow somehow knew this was going to go to the past. Why? Because if you recall correctly, he said that if someone I know that, the Shadow. truth, they would come through this. Yeah, I'm going to ask. How does he know that? But hey, conveniently, this actually does show Silver the truth, that Mephilus is actually one half of the being. So oh, yes. is, this, is this using the... Is this I, using instantly, the I, instantly, I instantly trust you, Black Hedgehog. Is this using the slightly worse CG character? I've already... Yes. Yes. Do as I've just explained it. Come on, pay attention. Remember, Pedro, memory issues. That, also, there, there's yeah, memory the, issues, the and then there's just being fucking. The Duke has a sector of darkness conveniently up his ass to give to, sh to Shadow. Somehow also, they foresaw that. 
Enough. Okay, oh, so the boy, a, a quiet base. I can't freaking wait. Oh, dibs, this is gonna be even worse than Sonic's. According Remember, to because Shadow doesn't have powers to exploit. Also, no, no, from, from, okay, I haven't played this level, but from the from, from looking at it, it, do, it doesn't look very interesting. It looks it's not. Boring. It's, it's generic it looks, lab levels. I. It looks. Uh, it looks boring. It sounds boring. I have never gotten the hype for this soundtrack. It's like yeah, yeah, um, it, this is basically um, this particular the, track. It has yeah. It has the same aesthetics of the arc, but it's just tinted blue. Because Whoa. it's underwater. It's, the, it, it's not just no. the, it's not just that. Again, like I said. So again, like we said, Silver even instantly trusts Shadow, even though he has no reason to. Uh, okay, okay, okay. When it comes to him trusting Shadow, I will definitely take you know issue with the fact that he trusted Shadow to jump into the, into the time portal. But the reason he definitely trusts Shadow now is because he just saw physical proof there that Meth was as part of the destructive Solaris being. I disagree with that because, like you said, how the hell does Shadow know that that Shadow is Methless? All I saw was a black liquid. How isn't that in any way similar to the Methless as we've seen him up until this point? Oh, that's because that Mephilus told him about how, you know, he used to be the Shadow. Oh yeah, I forgot that Ma I forgot that Mephilus is a stupid villain who literally flat out told his evil plan to Shadow for absolutely no reason! Yep, yep, <sighs> yep, that's how okay. Also, in regards to all the information Shadow knows about Solaris and all that nonsense in the last cutscene, are we just supposed to believe that he knows all this just because he works for the government or something? Okay, 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 okay. We can believe that Shadow does know all this. The problem is that the reason we know he Shadow knows He didn't even know who the princess was until Rouge told him. Well, yeah. See, here's the here's the problem, Shuri. The reason Shadow knows this is because Nephilus told him his evil plans, essentially. Also, again, this is a problem with Nephilus. He is such an overpowered villain, yet to the point where the only thing that really dooms his plans is himself. Yeah. Like, let's think about a life. He basically defeats right himself. Now. He's an opportunist. He's not very tactful. Uh, Shuri, an yeah, opportunist would like, suggest that he actually seizes the opportunity. Here's the problem with Nephilus. He's a villain who can go anywhere in time he pleases. He, yeah, I mean, yes, he needs a Chaos Emerald, but oh, he can actually warp infinitely, so he can pretty much easily find a Chaos Emerald. And also, he was able to send Shadow and Root to the future just fine here and there. He constantly pops up throughout the stories here and there to the point where he can be anywhere at any time. And let me remind you, his goal is to join with Iblis, and Shadow just died. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Now, okay, we're gonna go into another stupid thing involving Iblis, but, okay, for now we know that Mephilus' plan is to join with Iblis. Wherever Iblis is in the present, we don't know yet that story-wise. That's also gonna be another stupid problem. But, remember how Iblis is in the Crisis City future, and how we kind of just got finished fighting Iblis before Mephilus showed up? Let me remind you, it Mephilus. Iblis, the guy you're trying to join, is literally swimming in the lava of the volcano you are in, and yeah. you try to taunt Shadow, even though... Okay, spoilers, his plan is to pretty much just destroy everything, so... What does like, it matter if Shadow even joins the best you? excuse I can come up and think of, Jova, the fact that maybe Iblis is in a way too advanced state uh, to reunite with Mephiles in that time period. It's more stretching than anything. Uh, yeah, maybe it would be also nice <laughs> if the game actually explain that Shadow stuff. Shadow disagrees with your theory, too. <laughs> no! Seriously, I no. love Shadow's death screen with this Everyone game. Everyone does. It's just the timing, man. Also, also, guys, I hope you enjoy playing this stage because, believe it or not, the way it's playing right now, it's exactly the same way it will play in Silver's campaign. No differences whatsoever, the same points where you swap characters here and there, like, believe it or not, I mean, okay, the only difference is that you start off playing as Silver, but then don't worry because just a few seconds in, you'll swap to Shadow to play pretty much like this. Like, well, I give it credit. Mean, Unlike Sonic's uh, Aquatic Phase, they didn't ask us to do that, that this stupid part where we have to destroy all the enemies with that stupid, unreliable uh, magnet thing. True. Yeah. Also, going back to uh, the whole, um, like, um, Silver instantly believing Shadow, I was going to say something similar to what you said, Jova. It's like, maybe it goes back to the colorblindness of every character in this goddamn series, where he just thinks he is Mephilus, but with different highlights. Oh, funny action colorblindness story when we come to Silver's story. Yeah. You mean about Amy? 
Oh, yeah. that's right. Amy's in this game. Yeah, oh, so you weren't referring to Amy. <laughs> I was, I was, I was. But it's also, I didn't reference her because when you think about it, this story doesn't really reference Amy that much either, now nope. does it? She's nope. just that to Even though she's a girl that she is. Even though she's a playable character in everything. Like, trade. Amy, Knuckles, and, uh, and Blaze are the trinity of a mistreated character in this game. <laughs> Whereas Sonic, Blaze, and Omega are the trinity of most fun characters to play as in this yeah. game. Ever since Adventure 2, a lot of these characters who were actually pretty, pretty great just deteriorated. Big time. I mean, and, and yet uh, the, the whole complaining about Sonic's uh, stupid friends uh, still lingered for some reason. Like, uh, yeah. well, they were well, fine up until well, after Adventure 2. That's well, I remember. Honestly, even in Heroes, they were fine. The one that, um, I honestly thought that the entire complaint was just misguided in a sense that uh, it is. Uh, it he, is. like uh, the, it's not a matter of how many characters you need to handle; it's how you do. Because I'll be quite this, honest, I mean, even Heroes being iffy as it was, still the characters for the most part were fine, except for Amy, who is a psycho. But you know, uh -huh. at least the that and I remember ah, what? I remember this one quote from IGN. Yeah, and yeah, no, no, so it's triggering already, but um, I'll, I'll finish. That will, dips, dips, that, will that will teach you to get trigger happy. There's this quote from my <laughs> that said, <laughs> you "Oh, was trigger." Yes, um, Actually, not the reference, but that worked as well. <laughs> Go ahead. Was, I was gonna say, there's this guy from IGN who said that oh, the series is great. The series started going ever since, ever since Sonic 2 because Tails was in it. Yeah. I am so Jesus. happy that nowadays the general public don't view Sonic as a laughing stock to the point where they actually believe what IGN said because, yeah, IGN rightfully got called out for that. Like, that's one thing I will give the gaming media this. They were fair to Sonic Forces. They gave it the reviews it deserved. They mentioned the good it did, but also the problems it had to. They got a mediocre score, which is what it deserved at the end of the day. Yeah, day. yeah. And thankfully, we didn't have any stupid reviews like GameSpot's review of Lost World or... IGN's review of Sonic Unleashed. Did anyone, did anyone deliberately fall off the stage to make the reviews look? Yeah, I was gonna say, was that bad. what happened with Lost World? Yeah, yes, yeah, someone, yes. Some, someone, some, um, okay, I don't know if it was IGN, but it was someone, deli someone deliberately ran off the stage and com and said, "Oh, the controls suck." Didn't they get fired though, or some, or at least discipline or something? It's the same that old did eventually get fired. I'm not quite was sure. Was there anything like that though. about? Was there anything like that about Sonic Forces? Um, it, it, it's the same old bad guy. I forgot of which specific reviewing site that uh, couldn't even finish uh, deliberately the tutorial of Cuphead. Yeah. Like, like I, I can imagine now, Sonic Forces. Um, a guy's doing the. A guy complains like the stage is too long, but because he sucks at it. True. True. Or, it reminds um, me of. Or, 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 or the guy is uh, doing platforming, but deliberately jumps off the stage and is like, oh, the controls shifted. Also, well, me. depending on the type of game you're playing, stage length can be an issue. It reminds me of Jim yeah. Sterling's BS review of Sonic Cars. Yeah, well, nobody Sterling. likes that. Yeah, I mean, seriously, even Sega rightfully got to have their own take that at Emperor. Like, oh, really, Sterling? They're supposedly black in Sonic Colors. Oh, really, Sterling? Supposedly there's glitches as bad as Sonic 06. Oh, like... Dang. But Joe, but Joe, but he's Jim Sterling, therefore he's right. Back um, then, I don't, I, 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 I don't remember anyone ever saying that, but whatever. Uh, unfortunately, Pedro, there are a lot of people who... Uh, that's like 300 like points! <laughs> By 300 <laughs> points! <laughs> If it's, any, all, Pedro, it's good for if it's you. any consolation, Pedro, I always get an S rank on the stage. How is that any consolation well, uh, so, at all? How, uh, <laughs> yes, Jova. Yes, Jova. You're, yes, Jova. You're a wonderful, you're a wonderful on, special assault who is hold good on. at everything in your life. Hold on, hold I get on, that. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Don't you see, Pedro? With, with our gaming abilities all combined right. together, we can completely S rank this game. You can S rank the stages I can't S rank, and I can S rank the stages you can, and then we can just combine our achievements. Hey, sure. Jova. How do you feel like getting gold relics from me in the Crash games? Sure. Why not even a platinum shear? No. I mean, compared to platinum, <laughs> gold is easy. Hey, gold is enough you need for the achievements. That's all I'll care about. 
So Sorry, yeah, man, the reason the Mephiles remembers, Mephiles. yeah, the reason Mephiles remembers Shadow is because of this event, even though this doesn't make yeah, any sense. I, just, I don't know if it was a joke or anything, but like, I, let me just not rant, but point out a thing a bit. Johnny's his review doesn't understand this particular plot point in terms of time travel because he yeah. thinks that only because just because Shadow was supposedly predestined, destined to do this, uh, he should have done this even without the time travel. No, no, that's not how it works, Johnny. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Just because Shadow well, time travel, well, events well, create well, 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 you have to understand no, that Johnny is... One at a time, one at a time. What do you finish? No, no, I'm done. Uh, yes, Pedro. You have, to, you have to understand that Johnny's not exactly a specialist in this in, in complex storytelling. I don't know. I've seen pretty much all of his reviews, and I know he's very analytical and knows about the stuff he's uh, talking about. It's Could just that yeah. probably time travel is not one of his things. Maybe it was just Could an you imagine the, do it? Could you imagine if the scepter dropped immediate and broke immediately? <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to, of course, a question. Why doesn't Shadow just, you know, dash the scepter away? Um, because he's stupid. No, no, no. It's because time has to be this way. Also, why are you considering Mephiles a type of Oh, ho, ho, ho. by the way, folks, pay attention to a certain detail at the end of this cutscene. Actually, oh, Jova, so uh, we only see that in, in Silver's version no, no, of this cutscene. No, 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 Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. I'm talking about the inconsistency. Yeah, yeah. just for now, just to look at this. Okay. You're going and then Elise wakes up and they have to tell her the tragic news about her father dying. Could you at least hide it in a bush? That will be a lot better than leaving it on the path. No, no, yeah. no, sure, like Shadow yeah. said, he already knows what the future now has to hold. Yes, of course. <laughs> of <laughs> course! <laughs> I don't think uh, you're meant to deliver it that way. It's, uh, you are terrible and you should never work in acting ever again. I mean, I'm sure he's done better somewhere else. Also, but, uh, can we wait, just wait, see the elephant in the room? Is the fact it? that uh, now Shadow? Actually, oh, yeah, right. actually, no. Like I said, we only see him giving the, or the cow's emerald in the wait in the silver it. version. Wait for it! Oh, look yeah. at that! Silver took the blue chaos emerald with him. No, he just dropped it off screen. You didn't see it. Zero, yes. he was holding it. <laughs> anyway, he yeah, for the elephant. He dropped it. <laughs> for he the was holding it. <laughs> Now, pretty much, now Shadow knows about uh, using Chaos Control to create the time portals. To be fair, that was technically already a thing established you in Adventure 2. You already used it for teleportation, no, oh, yeah, but short okay. range teleportation. Okay. He never considers actually saving Maria with this. Yeah, at this point, Shadow's past that point. He did say he's gonna put his Remember, remember, Teo, he's, uh, he'll never turn back again. Nice. And Honestly, yeah. honestly, I mean, really, I think even Shadow realizes it's not really worth it at this point. More like it would create Sorry. more portals. Well, he spent the years getting over it, essentially, so yeah. going back to bring her back would just cause more problems. Problems so, that I don't think the writers for this game are... Uh, Alright, everybody. Right. So, in order so, to seal Mephiles again here in the present, we have to collect information on the Scepter of Darkness. Take it away. I know you know it's, it's not... It's a scepter, it's not, and it brings it's not here. Alright, uh, Dwibs. Yeah? Uh, get ready, because it's in, at the end of this part where we're going to get that line that you've been so anxiously oh, waiting for. Oh, the archaeologist. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh. Okay. Uh, game? And the game froze. We have to Just save the archaeologist, guys. Some baby steps and then I'm our loading screens. Jesus. It's worse if you die. Alright, <laughs> so I don't remember if the archaeologist is voiced or not. Well, we did not see. No. Oh no! Help! Actually, well, I, I think I pissed it for actually, actually, I pissed it for Shiro, I think. Oh, did you? Oh, never mind. <laughs> also, get it? She's an archaeologist because she has glasses. No, no, no. Uh, well, to be, fair, to, to be fair, she does have yeah. that hat, and the clothes are... Pretend the archaeologists destroy all the enemies. What's with that, uh, what was the, that, that rumble? Yay, another mission <laughs> where I just have to beat all the enemies. I've yeah, <laughs> seen that right. before. Apparently, for some reason, Iblis' goons are after her, even though Iblis... Why? No real reason. You know, you know, why not just have these guys be purple and then have it just be Nicholas' goons? Like, that would at least be coherent with the story. 
quite Iblis goo. But they'd still be the Iblis creatures, but with a purple sure, skin. Sure, sure. The Methless ones are clearly purple. Color-coded for but your But they're the game. same thing. But what that's I, the point, well, though. All they had to do is just recolor them, and they would have actually this made sense is, story-wise. The point is, this plot is stupid. Go ahead, Shirai. Thank you. Um... Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, of course you are. <laughs> I'm an archaeologist researching the Soliana's ruins. Uh, Jova... Yeah, Jova, take be back. Take, take when over. I was researching the ruins, they suddenly attacked me. I'm so glad you came. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was researching the Scepter of Darkness, a royal treasure recorded in ancient Solian and... Solian and text. God, that's so a mouthful. They, they, they even have an entire language. You could have maybe pronounced it Solianin, but nope, it's Solianan. I have a feeling that it's somewhere around this castle town. Castle town? What, are we in Mario now? But that's all more like, I have more like Zelda, but yeah. Car town. Car town. We're in Hyrule Castle Town. This is what it says in the ancient text. All right. Drink your oval tea. Hmm. When black flame lights the candle of darkness and priest prayers are answered, the dark seal will be no more, and so shall emerge the power. Could you be any okay. more generic, please? Yeah, seriously. Uh, question. Is Methos the black flame or the candle of darkness? Because Iblis is just pure fire. Candles are everywhere, you know, but I have no idea where to find the Candle of Darkness in the Priest Fair. What is that? Oh, wait, that's right. This is how to find the Scepter of Darkness. Yep. Even I'll, still, I'll, though, I'll, I'll explain after, we're, after she's done talking. Makes sense, I guess. You know, the candle is the holder of the power, and uh, you need a dark flame to light it. Plus, what's right. the black flame? Oh, welcome that's back, Shira. Right? Maybe a special light? Sure. Alright, what time are you at? Whatever, honey. Whatever. Oh, go connection to 32 is go to 32 minutes. Sure. Are you still Speaking talking? Of the black flame, can't you generate light? Yes. Okay. Alright, well, 32. He yeah, can, he, he can, can I... thanks to the Chaos Spear thingy. Yeah. That's always been a thing of shadows. But it's mm. not light. It I, is actually. Uh, it's yeah. technically. I guess it, it, it cuts on fire, Tio. That's what they mean. What the hell is wrong with this game? A lot, Tio. A lot. Also, yeah. she's waving her arms like an idiot in the background. To be fair, unlike the, the N for, to be fair, unlike the NPC characters in Nightmare Return, she actually has a reason for doing so. All right, Tio, yes. get ready. We're almost there. And, and click. click. Get the scepter. Right. All right. Let me translate that. Boring, babbling nonsense that she just spewed. What you have to do is... Well, if the game would fucking stop loading, thank you. Okay, what you what you have to do is... Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, th basically if you talk to oh, her, she'll stop... If you talk to her again, she'll she'll repeat the, the basic gist of it. But anyway, yeah, here's what you have to do. Go through here. What you're supposed to do is... You're supposed to get to the part of the town that has that fountain. <laughs> <laughs> um... You're supposed to go to the fountain, uh, because there are can uh, unlit candles near the fountain. Why are there unlit candles near a fountain? Your guess is as good as mine. Your guess is as good as mine. So because here's what happens. So here's how it works. If you go to the fountain and you light the candles with dark fire from your chaos spear, somehow the the scepter of darkness shows up out of nowhere. That's what because she meant. Of course. All right, uh, Dwebs, uh, all right, guys, take it away, uh, eight gun agent, if you don't mind. Here we go. Agent Shadow, E123 Omega has engaged methods. Head to the wave ocean, head to wave ocean. Agent <laughs> 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 Gee, I didn't know we were listening to the bloopers, really? Reel. It was so nice of them to include the bloopers reel in the actual story. <laughs> You couldn't have used, like, Windows Movie Maker or uh, Adobe Soundprint uh, or anything uh, to do any software on the It would move, it would move. Let me remind you guys, this, this was Sega of Japan trying to show Sega of America how it was done, yo. Managing the game side. It would have literally taken you, like, ten seconds to edit that out. 
the thing is, you can find bloopers like this in Freedom Planet, but via unlock. Wait a minute, via unlockable extras, not in the main game. This game is How? pure madness. The game is, you... was so apparently so rushed the fuck out of that they couldn't even bother taking ten seconds to edit out that stupid bloop. All they like, literally, if I I didn't do it, but literally, if I could, I could literally edit out that blooper in this footage right if I, if I wanted very easily, like. I don't understand you, game. Why? You, you're, you're telling me that you didn't have 10 seconds to edit that out? Really? Uh-oh, gotta speed up! <laughs> when I have better editing skills than you, he needs no, to say I, something. I do. I've, been, I've been making Hitler parodies. <laughs> Alright then, What's, what awaits us in the next part, Pedro? Emerald Beach. Well, I mean, oh, I mean, uh, beach, <laughs> beach, so. wave ocean, so, Java, I wave know, ocean, game, Emerald all Coast. <laughs> I just said it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was in a Sonic Adventure mood. All right, see you for See you, everybody. See ya. See ya. See ya.